You know, we typically end each of our shows with something on the lighter side, but this week that's just not possible. Like so many others, I was deeply saddened by the tragic death of State Representative John Kivala. John and I served together for several years on the Marquette City Commission. We worked together on some projects, and he was one of the early guests when I returned to this show, and he was back on other occasions. During our time on the Commission, we occasionally had a friendly debate, but that didn't change the respect I had for John. He always wanted to do what was best for the community, and then later for his district and the state legislature. Whatever he was working on, he always approached those assignments with passion and commitment. John was also a good guy who enjoyed being with people, working on projects that helped the community. As many others have commented, you rarely saw him without a smile. He was dedicated to his family and always very proud of his kids, as dad should be. I can't speak to the demons that haunted John, but on his last visit here, he talked about that. He clearly recognized the problem took positive action, and many of us hoped he was on course to win that battle. But as we know, addiction is a tough master. Like so many others, John, I wish I could have been there to reach out to you in those moments when you needed the support of those who cared, just as you reached out to so many in your lifetime. At times like this, we ask ourselves why. We look for answers, but there are none. I hope and pray that John will not be remembered for the last 24 hours of his life, but for the many years he lived as a loving son, a devoted husband, a proud father, a faithful friend to many, and someone who was deeply committed to serving his community and the people of his district. Our heartfelt sympathies and condolences to John's family and his many friends. John Kivala will not soon be forgotten.